Hi everyone, I'm James, the technology support engineer from Kilovision. Today I will introduce how to deploy into Kilovision bonding server. Before deployment, we can open the UIS manual from our official website. Support Documentation The Q-Link bonding plan for deployment. We need to prepare a server with Ubuntu 18.04 or above, where you recommend Intel Core i3 CPU, 16.4 GHDD, 4G memory or higher, to meet the hardware requirements for deployment. Another thing to note is that if there is a firewall in the server's network environment, you need to open the ports required by the system. TCP82 is used to provide VPUT service. The TCP and the UDP ports of 347A are used for the interaction channel of Kilink 2P. Port 16000 and 60001 are used for the verification channel of the P-Unit connected to the Kilink. TCP and UDP ports 5000 uh, 5100 are used for Qlink to receive data stream from the PUNI. TCP and UDP ports of uh, 30,000 30, and uh, 15 are used for the sending stream from Qlink. After this preparation are complete, we can start deploying. Next, I will show you step by step how to deploy Qlink. First, we need to get uh, the promotion of the current Ubuntu systems. Uh, we can log into the system through the terminal application. Enter the command sudo and then enter the password of Ubuntu. Or step one instead darker. Enter the command line in the terminal windows. We can copy this. And pass it in the terminal. If your server already has Docker instead, you can ignore this step. OK, step two, get the deployment guide. Execute the command duplicate. We can copy this command and pass it again. Step three: Provide execute promotion to the file. Killing server again. Sh. Execute the command. We can copy and again. Step four. Execute the file killing server.sh to start deploying the killing plan 4. Execute this command, we copy and paste again. And we choose one to instead killing server. We choose host. OK, at this point, our Q-Link is deployed. We can try to log in to, to see if it works. Into the HTTP. The IP address of the server. And the ADD with the parts in the browser. Press Enter to I display the log interface of the Q-Link. The default user and the password are admin. You can change them in time. In this way, Q-Link has been successfully deployed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact our technology support engineer.